Kamala, who, by the way, is worse than Biden. And she's actually not as smart. Okay, she's actually not as smart. That's hard to believe, isn't it? Understand, in this fight, as Tim Walls likes to point out, we are joyful warriors. Joyful warriors. Barely three weeks after Joe Biden stepped down from the presidential race and endorsed his number two, Kamala Harris is riding the momentum. Democrats are united and motivated, while the Republicans appear to be scrambling to flip the script. With her new vice president pick Tim Walls by her side, on top of strong grassroots support and a viral social media presence, Harris's campaign appears to be resonating. Donald Trump is now up against a party that is energized, which in turn reverses one of his biggest advantages from when Biden led the ticket. As the November 5 election draws closer, there is a major shift in the race. Kamala Harris recently overtook Donald Trump in six different polling averages. The Democratic nominee surged in three key battleground states, that is Pennsylvania, Michigan and Wisconsin, where voter sentiment has dramatically swung in her favor. These states, which were pivotal in the 2020 election, now appear to be leaning towards Harris and giving her a crucial edge. We cannot go back. Ours has to be a fight for the future and a fight for freedom. Trump is now reportedly in a foul mood and has been lashing out at Kamala Harris privately as well as in public. From questioning her race... She was always of Indian heritage and she was only promoting Indian heritage. I didn't know she was black until a number of years ago when she happened to turn black and now she wants to be known as black. So I don't know, is she Indian or is she black? To ridiculing her name. Kamala Harris, you know, it's interesting. Nobody really knows her last name. If you ask people, do you know what her last name is? Nobody has any idea what it is. Harris, it's like Harris. I don't know, how the hell did this happen? Trump accused Harris of using AI technology to fabricate images of the crowd sizes at her rallies. He was referring to this image of a large crowd gathered on the tarmac in Michigan, cheering for Harris as she stepped out of Air Force Two. Taking to Truth Social, Trump said there was nobody there when Harris arrived at the Detroit Metropolitan Wayne County Airport last week and that she cheated at the airport. The Harris campaign replied that it is an actual photo of a 15,000-person crowd for the Harris Walls campaign in Michigan. Trump, though, went on to claim that he drew a larger crowd than Martin Luther King did for his historic I Have a Dream speech. I've spoken to the biggest crowds. Nobody's spoken to crowds bigger than me. If you look at Martin Luther King, when he uh, did his speech, his great speech, and you look at ours, same real estate, same everything, same number of people. If not, we had more. And they said he had a million people, but I had 25,000 people. And it is my promise to everyone here, when I am president, we will continue our fight for working families of America. <laughs> including to raise the minimum wage <laughs> and eliminate taxes on tips for service and hospitality workers. Charges of plagiarism and stealing ideas erupted against Kamala Harris after she pledged a no-tax-on-tips policy at a campaign rally. Eliminating taxes on tipping has been a part of Trump's campaign promise and he has promptly accused Harris of copying his idea for political purposes. Trump said no-tax-on-tips was his idea and claimed that Kamala Harris has no ideas she can only steal from him. Election campaigns are never static and it won't be easy for Kamala Harris to keep the momentum going for the next three months, especially given that Trump is a formidable political force and a tough opponent. After surviving an assassination attempt, Trump is striking a chord with voters who are pessimistic about the state of the economy, immigration and abortion. <laughs>